what was found here in trial with Mike Campbell, News Center 7. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast. That's weather coverage you can count on. Just folded it up to be unpleasant, and it's about yeah, to get warm because we have some showers moving in, don't we, Robert? Yeah, at least you'll be asleep, though. Okay, all right, I'll take that. You might be a little bit in the late morning hours, might have some persisting, but tomorrow will actually be a bit warmer, so it looks like really once we get through this, the rest of the week should be pretty comfortable. It's just a bit on that warm side. Uh, more comfortable side. So mostly cloudy now. That's the way it's going to stay. We do have rain and snow potentially to the southeast. Not expecting a lot, just some isolated rain showers or even snow showers. If you happen to see any accumulation, it's going to be generally down to the southeastern part of the Miami Valley. And we'll show you here in a bit. And if anything, less than a half inch. And then while today, yes, was maybe uncomfortably cool, tomorrow should be a little bit warmer. In fact, it technically it'll be a little bit above average too. So let's take a look at the radar. What we can expect here is these showers just south of really the Miami Valley, kind of making their way across the Ohio River now, are making their way into the state. And so we can expect this to continue to move in a little bit closer. It's not in our area just at the moment, but it will be moving up here in just a little bit. So with the radar coming, come here, clicker. There you go. Now you can see some of the showers and thunderstorms. The heavier rainfall is really down toward the south, and none of it's really frozen, except if you head towards southern Missouri. That's where we're looking at a little bit more of the frozen precipitation. And as this slowly makes its way toward Ohio, we will see the best chance of rain or snow generally toward our southeast. So we're also looking at some thick cloud cover. Now there may be some breakup in the cloud cover. You can see in western Indiana, it's not completely overcast. It is broken up a little bit. But you can generally expect mostly cloudy skies as a lot of this makes its way from the southwest toward the Buckeye State. Now, temperatures. Yeah, they're pretty chilly. Again, uncomfortably chilly maybe for some people. 35 in Troy, 37 in Dayton, and it looks like a few places are getting close to freezing. Sydney's at 32, Richmond's at 32. I think we're going to bottom out here in Dayton to just right around freezing, and so that's why when that moisture does come, if it's right around freezing, you might see a little bit of rain, you might see a little bit of snow, might be kind of mixed. Again, not expecting a washout or anything like that. So temperature trend over the next few days, it does warm up. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're looking at temperatures in the low 50s each afternoon. Now, tomorrow should actually be pretty pleasant. The morning is where we're going to still see some of that lingering moisture, but by the afternoon, we should see a little bit more sunshine. Thursday should be pretty nice. Friday is when we're looking at a good chance for rain, probably even a better chance for rain than what we can expect tonight, turning into some snow showers early Saturday morning with... Speaking of Saturday, a high of only 28 degrees. Saturday will be the coldest day this week. In fact, each morning this weekend, we'll probably have some temperatures in the teens. So let's see what we can expect as we move into the overnight hours. Pretty dry after midnight, but a little bit later, maybe closer to before sunrise. That's when you'll start to see perhaps a few snow snurries. I guess that's a mix of snow and flurries, but I think you get it. Anyway, coming into the Miami Valley, perhaps a mix of rain actually as well. This computer model has turned it all to snow, so we'll see. But we're going to be right at that kind of freezing line, so you might see a little bit of both. But most of this is coming to the southeast of Dayton, so the southeastern parts of the Miami Valley is where we're seeing the best chance for this. I'd say if you're up near Salina or Wapakoneta, you probably really won't see much of anything. And then soon after, you're looking at a lot of sunshine. So tonight, dropping down to about 33 degrees. Again, that chance of mix very late, or technically very early in the morning tomorrow. And the next seven days shows the warm-up. Friday and Saturday, that's when we're looking at a good chance of rain turning into snow, lingering in the early Saturday morning. So we'll watch that as we move closer. Looks like that'll be the best chance, really, to see much snow or rain. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Robert. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources said around 2,000 fish, crayfish,